Before you start this video, I would like you guys to hit that like button and share this video because it helps the viewership and it helps the algorithm. Also, if you've been missing out on daily videos, you're not receiving notifications, hit the bell button because I post very frequently. Sometimes people don't get notifications. And with that said, enjoy. One thing I learned from the older generation was that when you're doing spiritual work, you don't interfere with the process. Doing so can have detrimental consequences. See, if you're a person out here doing baneful magic or even love magic, don't interfere with the process. Let me explain something to you. Not to say 100% of the time, if you interfere by, let's just say, you're in a situation where you've broken up with a female whatsoever and she says, leave her alone, don't call her whatsoever. Now, time goes by, you feel maybe I should give her a ring or I should give her a call. Hey, you get lucky. She picks up and she talks to me. But now, there's a, mo a, a, a greater chance of that female snapping on you. Or if it's a male, that male snapping on you for calling them after they told you not to call them. So you want to put that in mind. Your chances of someone snapping on you or basically brushing you off is greater when you intervene in the process. When you do spiritual work, you're supposed to let the spirit do what it needs to do. See, a lot of you guys are younger. A lot of you women are younger. So a lot of you, uh, y'all tend to move in a haste and y'all don't overthink, you, you, you don't overthink the outcome of what you're doing. See, when, you're, when you listen to the older generation, a lot of the older generation, they just sat back and let things play out. See, that's what the new generation lacks. They lack that guidance. They lack that understanding. They lack the game. See, when you're, we, like as we say in Creole, for me, or when you're brought up in wisdom, you know that things will take its toll on its own accord. It's like doing black magic as well. If you're doing baneful magic on a rival, why would you go around them or try to reason with them? Sometimes people do breakup work on a couple and what they try to do is seek love in a situation that's pending. When you do this, you run the risk of the work backfiring on you. You run the risk of that person snapping on you. What do you think happens if you put a malevolent force over two people? You think that force takes a break from you? That malevolent force is around them 24-7. So if you're not careful and you're trying to get your way with that person, that individual may snap on you as well. So I say this to you people, relax. Don't interfere with the process. 